In continuing this video series, I'm gonna give you six reasons why beginners fail with launch jacking. Hey guys, it's Ken Furukawa, and if you watched my previous video, I talked about six reasons why launch jacking is perfect for beginners. If you missed it, I've included a link in the description below. It's definitely a must watch, especially if you're on the fence about trying launch jacking. Now that we've gone over why launch jacking is perfect for beginners, let's talk about the reasons why beginners fail. Reason number one, you're doing it for the money. Hey, I get it. We're in the make money online niche. So the goal is to make money, right? Well, the short answer is yes and no. Yes, in that we all want to make money. Who doesn't? We need to pay for things we need to survive as well as keep our businesses afloat. I get it. I also say no because that is not the right mindset and approach to building a business that can provide you with the online income you're probably going after. Some of you may think mindset is a joke, but this is the biggest reason why you fail and will continue to fail. Going after the money means the content you produce will only be focused on selling. Your viewers will see right through that. Reason number two, you have a short-term mindset. Going after the money is a short-term mindset trap that trips up a lot of beginners who attempt to try launch jacking. You see other marketers doing it, they say it's so easy to make money doing it, yet when you try it, it doesn't work. Why isn't the money rolling in? You end up buying product after product because there has to be something that you can plug in or some push button software that can make launch jacking easy. Your patience and your wallet grow thin. You get frustrated and eventually you quit. I see it all too often. Think long term. Know that you're building a real business. Launch jacking is just a tool in your overall marketing tool chest to help you accomplish your larger goal of creating a sustainable business that will generate an online income for you. But you need to stop thinking short term. You need to trust in the long term approach. Reason number three, you don't provide any value. This reason is connected to reason number one and reason number two in that if you're solely focused on the money and don't think long term, guess what suffers? That's right, your value. Your audience is looking to get answers to their most burning questions about that particular product. So when you do write a blog post or film a YouTube video to launch Shack an upcoming product, the focus of your content needs to be on answering their questions like, what does the inside of the members area look like? What are the bonuses being offered? Are there any OTOs or one-time offers? Overall, is this product any good? This is what I mean by value. I see far too many launch jacking videos that skim over the members area. Some don't even show inside the members area or they don't talk about the OTOs. There are some marketers who can't even be bothered to say whether or not the product will actually help the buyer achieve the goal they're set out to accomplish. Instead, it's sell, sell, sell. There's absolutely no value in that. Reason number four, you promote crappy products. When I spoke about value earlier, it was about helping your audience learn more about the product so they can make an informed buying decision. They're already gonna buy, it's just a matter of whether or not the product can do what it says it can do. Now, because I'm on YouTube, I see a lot of launch jacking videos that don't provide any value at all. Many beginners are so desperate to make a buck that they'll do and say just about anything to get someone to click on their affiliate link in hopes that they buy. Since it's a numbers game, the only way you can increase those chances is by promoting lots of products. But here's the rub. Many of the products that are launching in the make money online niche are cheap and quite frankly, crap. Let me ask you this. If you continuously promote crappy products and advise your audience to buy them, what do you think will happen? Do you think they'll find you to be honest and transparent? Think about it. This is a major reason why businesses fail with launch jacking. Reason number five, you have no bonuses to offer. Check out any blog post or video that is launch jacking a product. The one thing they all have in common is that every single one of them is offering some sort of bonus if you buy through their link. 
And unfortunately, chances are that as a beginner, you don't have a bonus to provide any visitor that comes to your launch jacking content. This puts you at a big disadvantage. Now, most of the bonuses being offered are usually some worthless plugin or access to a course that won't help you make any money at all. But that's not the point. Part of the standard launch jacking strategy involves offering up a bonus. Now, you could take the lazy way out and buy some cheap PLR product and offer that up as your bonus. But be careful if you do. In reason number three, I mentioned a lack of value as a reason why beginners fail with launch jacking. The same rule applies here. If you give away some cheap PLR product as your bonus, people will see right through your bonus offer and they'll go ahead and buy from someone else who has a better bonus. And let's say they do buy from you because of your bonus. If that bonus doesn't help them make any money or is not related to the product that you're promoting, they'll not be happy about it and this will impact your chances of them buying through your affiliate link in the future. Bonuses are a catch-22 situation. They help with the conversion of a sale, but most people won't even use them. But you still need them so that you can attract a potential buyer. So your bonus needs to be good. Deliver on that and you'll likely have a repeat customer. If you fail to deliver a bonus, see what I mean? Reason number six. This is the main reason why many beginners will fail with launch jacking. And that is, they don't have an existing email list or social media following. Why is this huge? Well, if you watched my mini case study in the first video of this series, you'll see that without an existing list of customers or large social media following, I got a whopping 12 clicks on my affiliate link and absolutely no sales. Now, the reason why you see some marketers succeed using launch jacking is because they have an existing email list or followers that they send hype messages to in order to inform them of an impending product launch. They tease them about the product, piquing their curiosity. They talk about their bonuses if they purchase the product through their link. And when launch day arrives, their subscribers go to the marketer's special sales page where they can watch a review or walk through video of the product. They never have to leave that marketer's sphere of influence. Oh, and by the way, guess what's beneath that review video that's neatly embedded on their webpage? You guessed it, a buy button with their affiliate link. These are the reasons why beginners fail with launch jacking. But it's not all doom and gloom. You can still make money launch jacking, but there are four things you must consider when launch jacking. And I'll cover that in my next video, so keep watching.